guys? It's and today we are putting LeBron James in MJ's era to prove that he is the GOAT. As you see right here, we're in the 1991-92 season. Here's MJ's Bulls right now in the 91-92 season. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And here are the Cavs with LeBron James. I'm not gonna lie to you, this team is looking low key comp. So we're gonna simulate the regular season and see what happens. So now we're at the end of the regular season. LeBron won most valuable player. I honestly thought Jordan would win this. Maybe the Cavaliers had got the number one seed. Let me check. Oh, they didn't. They didn't get the number one seed. So here are the playoff brackets. Bulls are number one seed. The Cavs are number two seed. Pretty sure they're going to win their first round and second round matchup. So we're just going to sim straight to the conference finals. All right, so basically the Bulls and Cavs just absolutely and early just dominated their way past their earlier rounds. All right, let's go ahead and start simming here. Game one goes to the Cavs. Game two went to the Cavs. Now they're going to sweep them. Whoa, are they gonna sweep a coach? Hold up, let's see what happens here in game four, guys. Let's get into the game. And since we're in Jordan's era, we gotta make sure we look the part. So we're here in game four. Jordan is not trying to get swept here, ladies and gentlemen. The Cavs can go to the NBA Finals with the win here. Lob over to James! Mark Price with the lob over to James! My goodness, and the Cavaliers take a two-point lead as the crowd goes crazy. Here comes Jordan. They need a timeout. Game clock is at 28.4 seconds. What will the Chicago Bulls do here? Their season's on the line. LeBron steals the pass! LeBron steals the pass! What a defensive play by LeBron James! And now the Bulls are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. They need to foul immediately. Here comes Brad inbounding. He's gonna inbound to Mark Price and he's gonna be fouled immediately. Mark Price is at the line. His first free throw is good. Cavaliers need to take a four point lead here with this free throw from Mark Price as he knocks it down. The Bulls find themselves in a big hole here. They need a quick bucket. Here comes Scotty. Scotty brings it up the court. He passes over to Jordan. Jordan's, oh my God, blocked by Elo. What a rejection. They get it back though. Armstrong pull up, no good, rebound James. Oh my God, Craig Ewell blocking Michael Jeffrey Jordan gets his revenge from when Jordan hit that insane buzz on him a couple seasons ago as he knocks down the first free throw. My goodness, he couldn't have just wrote it better. Oh, he misses the second free throw. The game's not over yet. If they can hit a quick three, here goes Pittman over to Horace Grant. They need to get three quickly. They take too much time, and it's over. It's over. The Cavaliers are moving on to the NBA Finals. Sweeping the Chicago Bulls, man, oh man. LeBron made some clutch defensive plays in this close game here, and now he has a chance to win a chip. So the Blazers ended up moving on to the NBA Finals, and their roster is just as good as the Cavs roster, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So this may be a close series here. And before we move on with the simulation, comment down below, should we do another season and try to get the Bulls a better roster? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, the Cavaliers roster when adding LeBron was just way too much for the Bulls. But with that being said, let's see what happens here Game one goes to the Cavs. Game two goes to the Cavs. Ooh, okay, the Blazers, okay. They win that game. Ooh, two straight wins for the Blazers, guys. Oh, but the Cavaliers win game five. Let's see what happens here in game six, guys. So we're here in the deciding game six. The Cleveland Cavaliers find themselves up one against the Portland Trail Blazers here. Let's see if they can ice this game here. LeBron takes a screen. LeBron puts up a three, puts it in. LeBron takes from downtown. What a shot! Oh my goodness, now the Blazers need to be quick with it. Here comes Terry Porter, bringing the ball up the court. Takes a screen here. Passes over to Clyde. Clyde drives on Elo's double. Kicks it out, Robinson's jumper is good! Now they need to play the foul game here. Who will they give it to? Kick it over to Price. Ooh, that was, that was a dangerous pass there. But they were able to M out it cleanly. Now Price is at the free throw line as he hits the first. Mark Price, his second free throw, puts it in. Timeout Blazers. Now the Blazers need to be quick. Down four here in game six of the NBA Finals. They kick it over to Kersey, back over to Clyde. Here comes Clyde, they pass it over in the corner. Here comes Porter, his three. He's no good, rebound by Brad, and this is gonna do it, guys. So it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers that win it all here in the 1992 finals in six games. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this low key wasn't fair, so just let me know right now. Comment down below, should we do another season, rebuild the Bulls a little bit and get their team you know, to the Cavs level. But with that being said, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video, man. Listen, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, 
comment, subscribe, man. We out, man. Let's